Hillary Richardson, Coordinator of Undergraduate Research. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find peer-reviewed research in our library's online databases, how to wade through a sea of search results, and how to save information from interesting articles for later. Teachers ask you to find peer-reviewed information because they can almost guarantee the source to be higher quality this way. Usually, if an article is peer-reviewed, it means it was sent to a publication, reviewed and critiqued by experts, revised, and then recommended for publishing. To find articles that are peer-reviewed, it's very easy. In most of our databases, you will see a checkbox on the left-hand side of the search results page that says scholarly peer-reviewed journals, or something to that effect. Just check that box. For sources about literature, books published by a university press are often also considered peer-reviewed. If you're not sure, check with someone. When you're searching for something online, no matter where you are, it's common to see an outrageously large number, or in some cases, an outrageously small number of hits in a search. When you're doing academic research, I recommend playing with the search parameters until you find a number of search results that is more manageable to you in the moment. Some common ways of doing this are to change your keywords using synonyms you found in similar results. Librarians, by the way, are really good at helping with this. You can also use the limiters in the databases to limit your results by date, language, subject, or even to articles that are online only, especially if you don't have time to wait for an interlibrary loan. What is interlibrary loan? If you see an article that says, request this item through interlibrary loan, it means we don't have an online copy, but we can ask for access through a library that does. It's a great way to have unlimited access to publications, but it can limit your options if you don't have a couple of days to wait for the request to be processed. Limit your options to full text if you're running out of time. When you stumble on a relevant result in your search list that you want to save, read, and eventually cite later, bookmark it by clicking on the folder icon next to the article's title. This temporary folder does not save things for you outside of the current research session. So, when you have a nice collection of articles, email them to yourself so you can access them later. Doing this also gives you access to the page that provides an MLA citation for your sources. By clicking on the Cite button on that article's page, you have a helpful template that shows you where the title, page numbers, and so forth go within the citation. Be sure to double check the formatting when you add it to your papers. As always, if you're having trouble figuring out good keywords, finding the information you want, getting access to articles in a timely manner, or navigating through any of our hundreds of online resources, don't hesitate to find me, Hillary, or Ask Athena.